Hello. This is my... Try not to get dead. Challenge. You go to... Tilt. Channel. Tilt. Channel. If being scary videos make me question everything. So I get free lives. Okay, strikes. Each strike will be a reward for this video. If you have zero, skip on the head. If you don't, whistle through. Off. Just the subscribe and the notification bell are clicked. That means if I get scared all three times, so the second time I get scared, I leave a comment. If I get scared the third time, if I get scared the third time, blah 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 blah. If I get scared on the third time, time. I will use the share button and share the video. The first strike would be a like on the video. Go to his channel. Watch the original video. And I will be putting half of this bell or watching half of this video. And then watching the other half in my spare time. Bell. And one more thing before, but I got subtitled on, so yeah, if there's any copyright music or sound or whatever, you can read what's going on there. If I ever need to cut up the sound, and after every clip in this video is done, then I will put my thought, 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 my thought, on that clip, in this video, at the end of that clip, in this video, with that said, and done, I hope you enjoy my new voice, because I definitely don't, but that's the type of all the people of being a gravelly British man. So, let's get to it. Fifteen. Taking out the trash. <laughs> Imagine trying to do a normal household chore when this happens. What do you want? This is what it's like to take out the trash for TikToker Smug Puppy. What do you want? The entities that haunt their home obviously want something, but what? Who knows? I think they just want to provoke fear, and they do even after she gets inside. Even the dog is afraid. Many in the comments would be done with chores after this, while some are wondering if the neighbors also experience paranormal activity. Well, I'm used to seeing playful shadow figures from this TikToker, this entity is no shadow, and it looks far more evil. Number 14. Invisible Body So, there's that. Back to that. Now, it was a real ghost? No. It was the real person? Person? Then maybe. My fault was the sound of stuff. 
found the found and stuff were added in after the video that my dick take take apparently this of new voice club back up same words don't know why don't know how and I don't know how to fix it anyway it got me still scary but not real so that's my fault let's continue what would you do if you ran something over in the night shared by tiktoker zane eager this video will answer that question while driving a big rig, Matt, the rig operator, is filming the moon to show his kids when he appears to run over something. And it might be a body? Really big. Anyway, it's pretty cool. It really looks like he drove over a hump, but when he gets out to check... No, no, no. Did you see it? After glancing back multiple times, Matt looks again, and a male figure is standing in the middle of the road, out of nowhere. It's clear in the comments that many didn't see the guy standing there, but they're still weirded out by the bump in the road. Those who did spot the male figure are even more frightened. I would be putting pedal to the metal, because whatever that figure is, it isn't of the living. Number 13. Dig your own grave. This man may be digging his. Okay. So, as for the bump, I saw that the road was slightly on level. Slightly not level. I could be wrong, because it could have been the boy's. The camera is what I've been bought. And then you saw this big giant black mark mark on the road. And that fifth ball was it was just dried up oil. My second ball was it could have been tar where they uh, filled in the gap of a crack or something on the red. So it might have gave it a little slight bump. But the bump would seem to be way, way bigger than it was. But still, my third ball would be a massive crack. And the thing would have just gone bum bum. Off. I don't know. I could be wrong, but that's my ball. As for the man, and that, well, Thing that can be seen with cameras where your own eyes can't. I have no explanation for that. And to be honest, either way, I wouldn't want to go on that road again. As if I was him, and I was in that position. I'd probably just be like, nah, I quit. Maybe. And that could substance isn't. Well, let's be on to the next clip. His own grave. 
shared by YouTuber Kisa Kahedupan. This video is trending in the Indonesian-speaking YouTube community. I was unable to track down the original source of the video. The man is actually digging for a garbage dump when he hears something. And then what he sees terrifies him. A face is staring up at him. The face looks like a mask to me, but it's still incredibly creepy. And as startled as the man is, it somehow makes me think that he could be digging his own grave. Really? A pun? Because that would give anyone a heart attack. Number 12. Sailing. Opinion. Blah, 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 blah. Me, in my own honest opinion. Honest opinion. I think that's fake. The, the way he was acting was like. He hooked up. Well, most children, when they hear a sound, they usually look towards where that sound came from. And no matter how quiet it is, something that close would make you automatically be like, well, so if a quiet voice was here and I didn't know anything about it, well, I heard the voice, I'd be like, automatically looking at the spot wouldn't be looking around you know, unless it, it was some kind of like a like a thunder storm where it goes Boom. then you'd be like huh what what's going on because the sound came from everywhere around you so there's no specific point to look at where was the voice? I had the Pacific point where in a Samara you speak one side or the other if you have the right equipment and your body will automatically react to it. I like the pun. I really do. Beginning his own grave. As for the mask, that is creepy. Even if you don't hear a voice, you just turn around and you just saw the mask. Then, yeah. But, I think it looks staged. So. Anyway, let's get on to the next one. House. A demon purportedly resides in the Sally House, and the YouTube team Apex Paranormal offers up this evidence. It was captured eight years ago during their investigation of the haunted home. In the children's room, a deep and unexplained growl is heard. <laughs> then in the basement, footsteps coming from upstairs. The team takes a break but leaves their cameras running inside the house, and they capture even more. And on another camera, this is captured. On the spirit box, Voices are calling out from the beyond. Help. Clairvoyant? Love you. Love you. Love you. 
and several more noises are captured in the children's room, including a child's voice. Lastly, as they're packing up to leave, a male voice whispers, and some in the comments are saying it's evil. I think the evidence is piling up with this one, and being that other videos confirm paranormal activity here, I'd say this place is legitimately haunted. Number 11 banging in the house when my fourth on the growling is it didn't sound like growling it sounded like like scratching you know like my stuff been scurrying Uh, all the noise uses can be explained, but there were too many to go through, so I've got be bothered. And, wow. Well, um, I don't know about this. It was kind of underwhelming, seriously. Yeah. No, it's not scary, man. I've been hearing voices for that out the um, about the yeah, we're at the voice box, you know, my spirit box, seriously, and as for the words. They think they picked up. I couldn't understand it. All I heard was gibberish or noise. To be honest, I couldn't extinguish any word, any word, any word, any word, any word. Any word. So. Yeah, no. When you capture paranormal occurrences on your security camera, it becomes harder to dismiss the reality you're living in. YouTuber Unfriendly Ghost shares this footage captured in their home. He then goes in to look, and he sees something. Once he leaves, the banging starts again. That last big bang would have sent me packing. Something's here, and it certainly is unfriendly. Number 10. Haunted Medieval Chapel. Banging can be summed up with pretty much anything. It's a input. Anything to describe why it was banging. I like literally anything. The timing is a little iffy. But what to message? If you don't know, you don't know, right? So, <laughs> there are questions, coincidences, 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 and unfortunate. I mean, maybe. I don't know. What? 
it seems a bit, uh, I have no word for it to be honest, like, it's a bit fending. Now, banging can be due to anything, but uh, if I had to describe what the banging might have been, then I would say an old house boiler where the pipes are starting to heat up and build. And they go boom 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 boom. Sometimes, sometimes not. But sometimes they do it when they're cooling down as well. Where the floor board on my window the wall. As a big one, where they go boom. It could be next door neighbor. It could be next door neighbors, neighbors, neighbors. But, we don't know any of that, so we can't really see if it's true or not. But, I do believe in the supernatural. I just don't believe we can patch it clearly. Because, anything you patch it, a supernatural in Clear high definition, eight thousand billion K quality. People won't believe you because they'll be a to fake on the internet. And if it's shit quality, people still don't believe you because the quality is shit. So it's like you can't do nothing. You can't win, and you can't lose. Well, don't win either way. Anyway, haunted medieval chapel. This Last medieval video. chapel Loud. is haunted, Loud. and YouTube haunted team video. Shuck TV Paranormal has captured some haunting voices during their paranormal investigation. Here, they hear a disembodied voice saying, Take me, listen closely. The ladies aren't just hearing voices, they're hearing unexplained noises too. Do you not like the noises of the battle? What was that? And they're starting to get paranoid. Don't be hiding down there. I thought that something's. It's behind us, yeah, and I need to move over there. Sorry. <clears throat> Later, they hear another disembodied voice, but it's hard to tell what it's saying. Protect the place. The place. And then one last whisper is heard. What was that? The last whisper sounds like it's saying this moment to me. What do you think? I think this place is full of voices, and it's hard to differentiate good from evil. Number 9. Haunting in Iowa Me. That's all. Again. I couldn't make out any of the words. All I heard was a sound. That's it. Just sound. Not very good sound either, just sound. So, to be honest, <laughs> we need to do better. Because all I'm seeing is speculation. So, yeah, not scary. Well, that's the end of that, I guess. A little underwhelming. But, 
I got the hood open. For you guys. Let me. I. No. I'm gonna do something you would like. Beep up, beep up, beep up. Disgusting. In. Disgusting, I think. In the text. Gift wishes. Already. 